things on ArcGIS. ArcGIS is very, very, very picky about data. So all I've done is I've gone onto this, which I'm going to do. First of all, make sure it's all in values. And I've just made it general. You can also make it number. And then what I have done is I've gone File, Save As, and I've saved it as CSV. Okay, I'm not going to save it because I already have done. That is because ArcGIS is very temperamental sometimes with Excel. So I'm going to close down Excel. I'll just save it. And we'll go off Twitter. It's good. And I've opened an ArcGIS. Now I'm just going to go from a, a plain, ordinary old blank one. Because what I want to show you here is how to put things on ArcGIS. So I'm just going to put the SA2 on. So there's the SA2. What I'm going to do too is I'm going to navigate to those files. So there's temp CSV. I could probably have them uh, more creative names. So I'm going to right click on SA2, go join. Join attributes from a table. Now I'm going to click on SA2 name and I'm going to click keep only matching records. And you'll see it's reduced the size a bit. Now this is a temporary thing, but if I open the attribute table, I will see now that it has added the information to ArcGIS. I could export this as a shape file and call it um, something like um, ABS uh, proportions or something. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how you can now symbolize it. So let's go into quantities. We'll look at a field. We don't need to normalize it or anything, though you can do log or stuff. So let's look at the proportion of owned properties, and we'll just use the standard symbology that comes up. So there's a horribly bright color. So let's zoom in there. And you can see there that the proportion of properties that are owned is, our, I don't really like this. Let's put it standard deviation, for example, because standard deviation is a good way to see when things are not uh, different to the norm. If it's thinking about it, we can pop standard deviation on. Look at the standard deviation. That's, that's like, it's not really very, like, it's quite okay there. There's nothing really extreme. But we'll click standard deviation. So there it is. Um, the proportion of properties that are owned that are significantly above or below the norm. We can, of course, go properties and we can symbolize it by something else. What about sole parents? So I'll leave it off on standard jinx, but let's just change the color. So no, let's do it the other way around. OK, we'll do it like that. So there's a very low proportion to a very high proportion. <laughs> OK, so you can see there that, that certain areas have a high proportion of sole parents. And I chose all these indicators because these are standard indicators that you use in demographic profiling. Let's have a look now at, um, we can do other ones. We can put in, uh, so these are all individual things. Uh, what about group households? That's quite interesting. Is there a lot of, there's not very many group households, but there, which is really interesting. And if you know Brisbane at all, that's, uh, that's around um, UQ and that's probably Nathan. In fact, we can find out there, even though my eye wasn't working the other day for some reason. Oh, I can just um, symbolize them. I can just put the, um, I can just put labels on. I'm running this off, um, the VPN so it's slow. So what I can do is I can label the features. And there we go. Sunnybank, Nathan, McGregor, Armour, Upper Mount, Gravett, so there's and there's all the UQ. Now if we want to um, save this, as I said, we can click on it, data and export. But if I want to then add the other one, I can I can also just put SA2 back in again as another. There's another SA2. I go right click, join and I will now join to the other table. Copy of temp to keep all matching records, OK. And if I look at the attribute table, it's now put those different um, demographic um, things onto the um, table and I can equally symbolize them.